Good afternoon or good morning, good evening, wherever, <laughs> wherever you are watching from. I wanted to hop on real quickly and I wanted to share something that I was going over with my client yesterday and I felt that it was very, um, very powerful to see things from a different perspective because an important thing to remember is that life is all about perspective. It, what's up, Mark? It's all about perspective. It's it's how can you perceive a certain situation? And and I've been talking about this in my past couple of videos. If um, the vibration in which you radiate at is what you call in. And so if your perspective is coming from a negative or low vibration, you're not going to be calling in more. And if your perspective is able to flip and see it at something very positive, um, you're keeping yourself at a higher vibration, which means that you're calling things in. And so I wanted to dive in and I wanted to show you something that I was talking with my client about when we're looking at our, technically when we're looking at our results or when we're looking at our progress, when we are um, changing or growing in our world, because there are so, what's up Debbie, because there are so many different things that we can look at when when we're on per this personal development um, you know, path, we have nutrition, we have hydration, we have sleep, we have boundaries, we have conscious communication, we have all sorts of self-care, self-pleasure, and so there's all these different categories, and sometimes these categories can become overwhelming, and it can feel as if we aren't um, getting anywhere. So I wanted to show you something that I showed one of my clients yesterday when we're looking at our results. I didn't draw it yet. And then I have these two hoodlums down there. You can see my packing, my packing that's going on. All right, so I'm gonna turn this around real quick. So one thing that we need to think about is when we are, when we are, when we are on the track of personal development growth, we are wanting our line to always be like this. The thing that we need to realize about the personal development you know, journey is we're always going to have a little bit of dips, but it doesn't necessarily mean that we have to completely fall off of the bandwagon. Now this, this can happen with food. This can happen with water. This can happen with sleep. This can happen with conscious communication. This can happen with a relationship. We're always in this spiraling of slowly going up. And so what I, there's going to be two, two kind of parts to this. One thing that I was talking with her about is when we, when we hit these lows, right here sometimes we can feel as if we haven't been doing much or we haven't been growing or we're backtracking and we're getting off course which that is a true statement and that simply having that awareness that you kind of simply went off the bat bandwagon a little bit gives you the opportunity to go back up but the thing is is sometimes when you're at a peak of another a, a peak of another mountain, you're at the base of another mountain. And so sometimes when you are in this position, sometimes when you're in this position, it can feel as if you aren't getting anywhere or you aren't creating any results or you aren't generating anything. This is when it's very crucial to understand what is your perspective of your situation. Are you seeing yourself as accomplishing a mountain and already at the bottom of another to grow? Or are you looking at yourself as if you aren't accomplishing anything and you're being super negative and you're saying, well, fuck this, fuck that, I'm done, I'm not gonna do this anymore. And so if you can flip the perspective to understand that you have done the work, you have done the work, you hit the peak, where they've come, most of them have become habits. You came back down where you've dropped some of the habits, but you're coming back up to where those habits are becoming natural again. If you continue with that positive curve, you're going to be going back up. And that's going to happen every so often because you've got to understand at every peak, at every peak, that's going to end up happening. And so it's a matter of flipping it back to yourself and making sure you are really focusing on what perspective are you having um, of your growth and of your results and the part two of this of why what else there is I'm tripping over a dog of what else is super important to remember about this is as I said in the beginning there are so many so many fucking aspects to think about when we are on this personal development um, you know journey we have nutrition we have water we have movement we have um, sleep we have conscious communication we have boundary setting we have personal care we have self-pleasure we have so much 
And there's like so many different categories that we have when we are looking at these things. And we need to understand that when we work on a specific category, so let's just say like we're working on nutrition. When you work on nutrition, let's just say you picked one month to like deep dive into nutrition. And in that month, you made four different things turn into a habit. And then in month two, you decided to work on sleep. And let's just say one or two of those no longer became a habit. This is you coming back down in this lull of this area. But when you come back to nutrition, those two things that you dropped off at will become easier, will become a habit and pattern of yours as long as you show up and do the work and as long as you're, you know, making it a priority in your world. And then those will become habits again. And so why that part two is so crucially important is because when you are shifting different gears to work on different things. So like lately for me, my biggest focus points have been meditation, has been um, my meal size at night because I've been noticing I've been eating, uh, getting back in the pattern of eating my biggest meal at night and then my sleep with time change and it being lighter outside, it's kind of throwing um, me off with my electronics. And so for me, those are my three main categories that I am focusing on right now. And what normally happens, um, what, what kind of can come of that is that voice inside my head can tell me, well, these other aspects of your life are slipping and they're not necessarily slipping because specific things became habits because I was starting here and I came up to here and then, yeah, I am dropping down a little bit here but some of them stayed habits and then when i decide to go and then when i decide to finally make it a priority to go back to those other ones when i'm done working on you know meditation and sleep as my priorities right now what's going to happen is then it's going to come to here and then it's going to be easy again and then it's going to grow and those those patterns are going to lock in and so when i was when I was discussing this with one of my clients yesterday is I thought that this was a very beneficial tool to share with everyone about what perspective are you taking? Because even sometimes I keep driven over a dog. Yeah, let's see. Even when, even when, um, you may not feel like the results are sticking as long as you are showing up to the work, they're going to stick. The important part is continually showing up and be very honest at what category are you working in. And if it is a category that you want to work in, like let's just say um, you really want to hone in on your nutrition, then fucking stay with that for like three months. Stay with it for two months. Stay with it however long it feels good. And this is kind of coming back to ourselves and doing all that good. So um, doing all that stuff. So if you have any questions or you enjoyed this or you want to learn more about this, don't forget, um, you can comment below, you can DM me. I'd be more than happy to connect. Sending so much love. I hope that everyone has a fantastic rest of your day. Peace.